I'm going to show you how to define tax codes with or without tax jurisdictions and assign it to jail accounts in SAP S4M. My name is Nun Dias and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in FI area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, my LinkedIn ID it is in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at the glance and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Here in this channel, we are doing a full life cycle implementation based in finance and controlling. So please subscribe this channel to get fresh new videos on a weekly basis. Tax jurisdictions represents government authorities to which taxes need to be paid. SAP allows to have four level of tax jurisdictions representing by the state, the country, city and others. We will see this configuration um, for especially for US and Canada. This is something most usually in Europe, I don't know any country that is using this. And now without further ado, let's go to the system to see how to make this wonderful configuration. Now we are in the SAP IMG menu. So we are continue in the same place. So for the ones that haven't seen the video before, financial accounting, financial accounting global settings, tax and sales, purchase basic settings, and then we specify the structure for the tax jurisdiction code and then define tax jurisdictions. Basically, this is mostly used in Canada and um, and US. I know in Europe, I don't know anyone that is using this, but we will see what is the usage of this. Uh, so basically, if we see here, this is coming with the system. You might want to create yours, okay? This is coming all the configuration with the system. We define, we can define new entries, but I can see this is done. And then where we are going to make the entries is there. So when we see here, we have this one that is full of entries is coming with, uh, with SAP. If you see California, Arizona, the tax jurisdiction it can be many things depending on the country but we can do it like for instance this one doesn't have any information just to show you how to do it it's pretty simple uh, you make new entries and then you need to put here something and then you can put a live and then you need to see discount base net value and the tax base in net value we choose this one we need to know exactly what we are doing and then we save okay so then if we see this one has already some entries now we are going to see the vat codes which are coming in the calculation tab so define tax codes and sales purchases here is where we see if you see remember country I'm going to put the country codes okay i have all tax codes that are coming with the system but of course this is something that normally the countries might have or the your client might have the own the own codes that we want to define and so on before i start to explaining this let me just show you something before. If I define another country code like US, you see that I have the tax jurisdiction here to, to use. For example, let me see the tax codes that they have already created in the system. Okay, this one. Enter the jurisdiction codes. So it's like really forcing you to, to choose for this tax code, I need to have a jurisdiction code, okay? And then we go and we make the configuration. Okay, now let's keep on going in our in our country. So as we see, oops, 
let me see some this thing that is created after I will create some tax codes to and I will post for the next video some some I'll do some postings then I will show the the posting schema in the in the FI document okay I will do it this in advance so then I will not spend time in the video to to create postings here uh, we go, we're going to see this is an input what are the big differences we have an output and input tax input tax is uh, for uh, purchasing output is when we sell okay so this will be a domestic input tax for um, for vendors domestic vendors uh, so basically from here i can go as we said this is the condition type from here the vst i can define the the accounts okay i can define the accounts here directly what is my accounts or we can go back and then we can go here in the posting if this video is answer to your questions please type some comments That will help a lot of YouTube to deliver this video to other users. Okay, as I was saying, there is another place where to see define tax accounts. So we go there, and then here we have the the posting uh, the keys. Okay, then we have the rules. We can make our position. Yes, these are the posting keys we can define the rules and then we can define the accounts for our country for our chart of accounts okay our chart of accounts i define the accounts so all accounts that have been defined so i have the vat codes country and all the accounts that have been defined so we can also define here for me i would prefer when i'm doing creating um, VAT codes uh, during the project you have a spreadsheet where you have all the VAT codes to propose to, to your client for me I would prefer to to define everything here is one I know that there are several screens but this one something else so for example uh, let's do a let's create one VAT codes just for you to see how to do it and then in the next video, I'll bring the 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 more more VAT codes created, and I'll bring uh, the the posting done already, so we can see the posting schema. Now, if you are enjoying this video as me, I am having fun doing it. Please make us a like. So let's do something. I'm going to put probably Z one doesn't exist. Yeah, doesn't exist. As usual, you know what is my my idea, okay? My idea to is always doing copy. So we do a copy from this one V one to Z one. Z one, the Z one is there, okay? We get, and then we can save. Oops, we can validate the jail accounts, like my tax account. Okay, I can define the tax account here. The percentage is the same. Properties we can change here. For example, this was 23. 23, it is an input tax, so it's for vendors. So I will put here 23 for the calculation. And then we save. So basically, it's simple as this to create a, a tax code, a VAT code, tax code in, in SAP. However, you need to have this in a spreadsheet if you are doing the project, so you know exactly what you have to do. It. Now you know how to define tax codes with or without tax jurisdiction and assign it to the GL accounts in SAP s Thanks for watching this video as part of full lifecycle implementation series that we are doing here in this channel. Uh, you can find the next video in the description of this one, which is the postings with VAT, so we are going to see the schema of the postings to analyze. And then, as usual, I will say, please 
subscribe to this channel to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.